So welcome to your 35th Visual Basic tutorial and before I start this tutorial I just want to say I've got a cold and it's quite bad so that's why my voice probably sounds different. So anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use arrays inside of your application. And if you don't know what an array is, it's basically a variable that can store multiple values. So all we need for this, uh, this application is a button and just drag that out and change the text to go I don't know what to call this change the text of the form to arrays and double click on the button so first I'm just going to declare a, a variable like I would normally so dim uh, something as a string this is going to store a whole list of this is going to store a list of names so that's why I'm using string so this is a normal variable it can only store one value obviously so to add more values we just put brackets after it so open bracket close bracket and then we put the amount of value the amount of uh, values it's going to hold so mine's going to hold three values but visual basic also counts in zero so this is going to be two because we've got zero one and two which that's three numbers so anyway now that we've done that we need to declare what is going to be stored in each array so we're going to do something and then brackets we're going to do 0 equals bed oops not in capitals something brackets 1 ugh, something 1 equals um, bill and then something equals and this can be um, Pete okay so that's our list of names so now what we're going to do is we're going to just display this in a message box so I can do message box dot show and then in here we're just going to do something and then one, uh, sorry, zero. Like that, don't forget the double brackets at the end. And then just copy this whole line. And then paste it, paste it again. This is going to be one and two. So now if we run this, and we press the button, it says Ben, Bill, and Pete. And we did all of that in just one arrow. So this might seem kind of pointless at the moment, like just like variables did, but like variables, this will uh, this will become more useful. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.